All right, let's find the derivative of the square root of sine of x. Now, this is a composite function inside a composite, composite function, so it's a very composite function. And I'm just going to see it as f of g of m of x, or something like that. And we're going to need to use the chain rule to figure out the, der the derivative, of course. So if we take the derivative of f of g of m of x, the chain rule is going to tell us that that's going to be f of f prime of g of m of x times g prime of m of x times m prime of x. Hmm. Looks a little bit more complicated than it actually is. But in this case, m of x is just going to be the inside function, which is just 7x g of x will be sine of x, just this middle function right here, and the outside function will be f of x is root of x. Oops, root of x. So let's just get started with the f prime of g of m of x. Oh yeah, and, and I needed one more bracket here, I think. Yeah, I did, good. So. Let's just find f prime of x. f prime of x is just going to be half x to the negative half, according to the power rule, because the root of x is just x to the power of half. Once we use the power rule, this is what we get. I'm just going to quickly rearrange that, though, to 1 over 2 root of x. And that is going to help us find f prime of g of m of x. g of m of x is just going to be sine of 7x. So once we rearrange this, we get 1 over 2 root of sine 7x. Then we're going to multiply this by g prime of m of x. g prime of x is just the derivative of sine of x, which is just cos of x. So g prime of m of x will just be cos of 7x, because m of x is 7x, of course. So cos of 7x. Then multiplied by m prime of x, which is just the derivative of m of x. The derivative of 7x is just 7. Now I can quickly simplify this whole thing into 7 cos of 7x all over 2 root. Oops, that's a terrible root. This is slightly better. 2 root of sine 7x. And that is the final answer using the chain rule.